The Cirque du Soleil, the Circus of the Sun, is one of the world's most famous entertainment troupes. Originating in Quebec, they travel across North America and other continents with several differently themed shows. Many are on the road at one time, and some are stationed in places such as Las Vegas. This troupe is performing with Kidam. Kidam, a nameless passerby, a solitary figure lingering on a street corner. The show has a more urban theme than other Cirque du Soleil programs. And the power of the performance is always breathtaking. As you can see, not only is the show filled with performers, and athletes, and artists, and good-looking, healthy people. And cooks? Yes, with all of these incredibly highly skilled performances, the question we ask is, what do they eat? Meet their chef. My name is John Gans. I'm a graduate from San Francisco Culinary Academy. I work for Spectrum Catering. Spectrum Catering has been hired by Circus Soleil to do all the United States and Canada tours. Uh, the chef gives us a tour of the dining room. He also gives us a look at the kitchen behind the scenes. Uh, you, you, you just learn the crew. You just know the crew. You know what they like. Uh, Russians will, will eat a lot of starches, tons of starches. We have just uh, pasta out there. And we go through some pasta with the, with the Russians, just herb pasta. Uh, not everybody else likes it. Everybody else likes more of the rice, uh, the orzo. So we get the happy medium with the orzo because they think it's rice and it's small enough. Um, you just you just learn to curl what they like and what they don't like, and you put that into the rotation of the menu. We eat a lot. They eat a lot of seafood. Um, we, they can never get tired of seafood. Day off because I already know what I can and can't cook with. I don't cook with any heavy creams because of the fat content. Too much tofu on the menu for the vegetarians. Can we go with something else like some seitan or some TVP? Uh, try and incorporate everything. And of course, they love barbecue. Here in the United States, finally, they love barbecue. So I have to keep that on a steady rotation. What are their favorite desserts? Uh, all the cookies are popular with everybody. Yes. And when we make, when Rebecca makes her bread pudding, our front of the house girl makes her bread pudding, it flies off the shelf. The cookies seem to be a very popular item, even for the international artists. You may wonder, what do they do about vegetarians? We have uh, a lot of vegetarians with us, and uh, we have about 20 vegetarians with us. So like all of our beans, uh, we don't put any meat in our beans, the proteins from the vegetarians. Uh, the rice, we use vegetable stock or uh, just plain water. A lot of the entertainers like just the plain rice. Uh, we have to do that because, of, once again, the vegetarians uh, we're trying to flavor it as much as we can. For, we have one gluten-free vegetarian. So for her, uh, we fire off corn tortillas. Uh, but she can't have the flour tortillas. So, let's see what's for lunch today. This is uh, cream corn. Today's uh, we're making a burrito day. Or it's an action station. We'll actually make all the burritos for the uh, Just come up and tell us what you want. The most exciting thing about this is you get opportunities that you can never, never would dream about. Um, for example, I was dog sledding in Canada on New Year's Eve. Getting out there to see the U.S., different parts of the U.S. Meeting fantastic, working with a fantastic crew. It's awesome. It's like a family. Leaving the audience spellbound, 
but it is still about beauty and dreaming. And the performers energized. Thank you.